You know Disney XD cancelled Kid vs. Cat, right? Well, it's basically due to financial problems. The show's creator, Rob Baudelier, said so as well. But, what all the Kid vs. Cat fans didn't know, even though they watched all the episodes, as if watching the NFL playoffs, they still did not realize that this was because of a lost episode of season 2. Finding the episode or getting details is difficult, the workers at Studio B Productions said they didn't make the lost episode at the time and was working on the episode, The Cat Went Back, Part 1 and 2. The lost episode's production number was number 52, the title was, Cat Goes to Hell. How do I know all of this? You may ask? Let's just say that I was the only one who saw the episode around 2011. The year of the show's cancellation. I was basically sneaking into Studio B Productions and just ran into Rob Baudelier on the way in. I thought he was going to call security, but he didn't for some reason. I then asked him. What's wrong? Seeing him looking as if he just witnessed a gruesome murder, he just looked and asked me what I wanted. I asked him about a new episode due to seeing promos on TV, he gave me a piece of paper with something written on it. I looked and saw that it was a code of sorts. Later, I went home and brought out my laptop and typed in the code that was written on the paper Rob gave to me. It brought me to a loading page and I loaded the site. After hours of loading, my laptop crashed, and I had to reboot the damn thing. Another hour. During what felt like ages, I went on my computer in the kitchen, loaded the site again, and guess what? It works. It was an AVI video. Like the ones you download on your computer after filming home videos. I hit play, and it was something I remembered as a kid. It was an episode of Kid vs. Cat. After the intro, it went for the episode's title card, Cat Goes to Hell. The title card just shows a black screen with the red text that looks as if it was slashed by the claws of some large animal. The song in the background was just the sound of a badly played violin. The episode started with Mr. Cat, the series antagonist, chasing Coop around the house, till Coop trips and falls down, Cat begins to claw on top of him, but Coop pushes him off, knocking over a vase. Bert, Coop's dad, asks what happened, till Cat blames Coop as usual in the show. Now here is where things go, a bit more bizarre. While Coop is grounded for Cat's shenanigans, the audio began to fade to a sound of what sounds like a tornado. The screen began to move around slowly, as if I was watching a YouTube poop video. The show progressed with Cat working on a machine that looks like a ray gun. When he tested it out, it was shown that it was a gun that turns solid objects into particles microscopic to the naked eye. Suddenly, something caught my eye. I paused the episode and saw in the background, what looks like a picture cut out of a face smiling badly at me. An inhuman face. It looked real instead of animated like the cartoon. What the hell? I shuddered, getting chills just looking at the insane face in the darkness. Then, Cat stops and looked up the basement stairs, looking as if he just heard something. I heard it too, it was like a shuffling noise upstairs, where the kitchen is. But Cat shakes it off thinking it was Bert in the kitchen again making dinner. Later, Cat was out at night shooting the ray gun at Coop in a battle sequence. After Coop defeated him, Cat went home to see a terrifying sight. In the shed, a bloody handwriting can be seen on the walls, like something inside an asylum. Cat was jolted by this, so was I, it was weird though, it was as if I can feel exactly the same thing he felt. I kept watching though, wanting to see the rest. I know it sounded crazy but, I had to press on. Cat went outside out of breath, sweating bullets and felt, as if he was about to faint. He went back into the house and had been greeted by Millie, who hugged him and took him to bed. This was messed up, I stopped the episode, went for a beer, and tried to keep my composure. After an hour or two, I played it again. During the episode, Cat was flipping his crap. I had never seen Cat so scared in my life. It wasn't like him to be scared crapless like this, usually he would be worried about something or be a brave sob and attack it. This was something serious. This was something out of proportion. Something like no other, almost, inhuman and grotesque. 
As Cap tried to go to sleep, he would see visions of handprints all over the walls and on the ceiling, terrifying faces peering through the windows, he would even hear running of footsteps all over the house and down the halls, for him to see shadows on the walls running to the room he was in, and disappear. The next day, Cat started crying, knowing that he was going mad. Billy sees this and comforts him. Coop on the other hand, sees this and smiles, stating that Cat must have snapped after all those attempts on taking over the world. Cat walked around the backyard and wiped away the frightened tears and tried to get a hold of himself. That night, Cat can be heard outside wailing like a banshee. Coop went over to the screen door to see Cat on his stomach sliding backwards on the grass. Coop didn't think of it, and thought Cat was trying to seek attention. But we see in Cat's perspective that he... Geez, those things. He was being dragged by tall, humanoid creatures that are crawling on all fours, spider walking all over the backyard. They were bald and had blackish, gray skin with eyes that are white and wide as saucers. Their mouths elongated, as they made screeching sounds like fish or cats, as they dragged the cat nebulon. These abominations were defiantly taking him somewhere by dragging cats by his feet with their sharp, dagger-like teeth. They took him deep into the woods and then in the middle of the forest, a hole was forming in that spot from the episode Capture the Cat. They took him by his hands and feet to the gaping hole with fire spewing from the gaping abyss and climbed down the hole with Cat screaming Millie's name for the first time. The episode ends with a shot down the hole closing up in a bird's eye view. I've had to sit there in complete silence for what felt like years. Then the episode faded to black. But all of a sudden, the song, Living in the Sunlight by Tiny Tim played, but in G major, as the end credits came, which made me jump out of my skin. I was shocked by this. What the hell did I just watch? Anyway, I thought about the strange creatures that attacked Cat, they were in fact demons and they were taking Cat to hell. Why? Maybe it's due to the fact that he was going to pay for his crimes against mankind. Maybe it's for the best to just forget the whole situation, but who's going to remember the show now after this terrifying drug trip of complete madness? Pushing aside from all those questions, there's one that remains in my mind for eternity, which is this. How can the creators get away with making such an abnormal and odd episode?